With any woodworking task, there's almost always more than one way to get the job done. Take gluing up a box. You could use clamps, screw clamps, seat clamps, F clamps, strap clamps, band clamps, bar clamps, or you could use tape. Now this isn't always the best solution, but it's a solution. I've used it plenty of times. In fact, in my next video you'll see me use it on a really small box. But I've used it on really big boxes before too. When I first started building this piece, Bad Larry, I used tape to clamp it. Actually when I made the video a couple weeks ago about the trapezoidal box, I used tape. And for anybody who's wondering if it's strong enough, I guess it depends on what you're using it for, but I trust it. So it's pretty easy to do, and here's how I do it. I start by laying out some strips of tape and then lining up my pieces edge to edge in the order that I want them to go. Next I flip the whole thing over and put more tape on to help keep it from coming apart when I fold everything together. Now if you're doing this on a big piece, it might be hard to flip over before there's a lot of tape on it, so you might just want to start with the inside face down. Once you have plenty of tape on it, you flip the piece back to having the inside face up, and then you start applying your glue. Then it's really just a matter of folding the whole thing up. To visualize the pressure this creates, I like to imagine what it would feel like if you stuck your finger in one of the corners and then folded it up. Point being, it's plenty of pressure. The hardest part is probably getting that last corner clamped, or taped. If you have an extra set of hands, this is a good time to use them. This corner is probably going to end up having the least amount of pressure, but it's always worked out for me. And that's pretty much it. So the point of all of this isn't to say that you shouldn't have clamps. You should definitely have clamps. But rather that where obstacles exist, and maybe you don't have that perfect tool for the job, there's almost always an attainable solution that you can use to get by. And at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, if you really think about it, the best tools are the ones that we already own. Said the guy with a garage full of tools.